game time. Hey everybody, welcome back to NTW. My name is Rob, and yes, it is game time. And we are back here on World of Warcraft. This is 8.3, and we're going to get started on two more dungeons today. Uh, first up, we're going to do Slave Pins and Underbog. That's what we got on deck. So I am going to get queued up, and I will see you when we get in there. Alright, we are queued up, and we are in our first dungeon. This is the Underbog. Coil Fang Reservoir is the name of the Naga-dominated compound that lurks under Zang... Zangar Marsh's deepest waters. The reservoir punctured throughout the by massive open pipes and pistons seems big enough to house armies, and yet its purpose isn't strictly military. Okay, we're on our first boss here. This is Hunger Fan, Hungar Fan, Finn. Unlike his ally, Quagmirin, the great fungal giant Hungar Finn has thus far eluded enslavement by the Naga. Nonetheless, he remains aggressive to all outsiders who tread into the deepest caverns of Zangar Marsh. Oblivious to the Naga's machinations and other parts of the region, Hunger Finn spends much of his time tending the underspore, an ancient plant said to be his most prized possession. Uh, he summons an underbog mushrooms at the random location that explode in the cloud of spores for 20 seconds, and then foul spores. When he reaches 20% health, he releases foul spores, leaching 528 health from all players within 151 yards. So we haven't quite reached the second boss yet, but it was right about here that I noticed that we were having, uh, the healer was having connection issues. And I think he was even having connection issues and lag spikes on the first boss. Um, but you'll see after this fight, he actually um, got dis disconnected and wasn't able to get back on. So we ended up having to drop the healer. And rather than wait for a new healer, we decided to push on and... I did my best as a paladin to continue to heal myself so, until a new healer arrived. So at one point we actually do kind of sit around and wait for a new healer.
All right, this is our second boss. This is Gazan. Historians have long disagreed about whether the immense hydras of Azeroth and Outland share a common ancestor. What is clear, however, is that these ruthless creatures have existed on both realms since ancient times. Gazan is one of the most infamous and fearsome hydras in Outland. Under the control of Lady Vaj, Vaj this ravenous fiend has stormed the lower reaches of Zang. Gar Marsh to terrorize the region's denizens. Uh, acid Breath, um, 732 nature damage and additional 121 nature damage every 3 seconds for 20 seconds. Uh, thrash, he gets attacked an additional time. Tail Sweep, 726 physical damage and knocking them back. And Acid Spit, inflicting 1600 nature damage. Alright, we're on our third boss here. This is Swamp Lord Musilek. To be one of the broken is to, act, is to be an outcast. This truth weighs heavy on the Swamp Lord. Although he is a member of the Merc Blood Broken, he prefers to roam the caverns beneath the Zangar Marsh alone. During one of these recent wanderings, he used his mastery over beasts to enthrall Windcaller Claw. A druid who had been exploring the area in the form of a ferocious bear, Muscle Ek was forced has forced Claw to act as a loyal companion who will not judge him for the twisted being he has become. Uh, Raptor Strike, inflicting physical damage. Multi Shot, fires a volley of missiles at a player and the nearby allies, striking up the three targets, physical damage. Deterrence. Increases his chance to dodge and parry by 25%. Knock away, inflicting physical damage and shoot. Fires a fires his bow at a random player, inflicting physical damage. And then you also have to deal with Claw as well. You wear him down, and he's able to break the spell and go back to his, uh, I believe it's his Terran Torn form. Uh, and then you continue the fight with the Swamp Lord Muscle Egg. Alright, this is our final boss. This is the Black Stalker. The Marsh Walkers of Outland are towering creatures that prowl the wilds, feasting on any lesser creatures they come across. The Sporlings of Zangar Marsh tell tales concerning one of these predators, a particularly ruthless beast known as the Black Stalker, broodmother to all the Marsh Walkers. It is said she emerges from her lair deep in the underbog only to satisfy her hunger for delicious Sporlings. Uh, levitate, Black Stalker's psychic forces levitate a player, leaving them suspended high in the air. Static charge, um, charges a player with energy, inflicting nature damage to them and any allies within 81 yards. Every two seconds for 12 seconds, and chain lightning. Uh, strikes a player with lightning that arcs up to 51 nearby players, inflicting damage. And that's going to do it for the underbog. We have completed it, and we will be moving on to the slave pens.
What brings you here? And we are at the slave pens. Uh, unfortunately, slave pens and the underbog, uh, because they are technically located in the same area, and are different parts of the same dungeon, and um, they have the same description. So, I, I will not be reading the description again, uh, it, it, but it is the exact same description as the other bog. So, let's get in it. Okay, we're at our first boss of the slave pens. I went ahead and picked up uh, during this fight Minu the Betrayer. Minu is one of the broken, Drenai twisted and deformed by demonic energies unleashed by the orcs. When the Naga invaded Zangar Marsh, many of these tragic beings desperately attempted to escape the region. Minu, however, chose a different path to freedom. In exchange for his own life, he betrayed his fellow broken to the serpentine invaders and agreed to lord over the kin of his slave driver as a slave driver. Uh, lightning Bolt Minu blasts a player with lightning inflicting nature damage. Tainted Earth Grab Totem he summons an Earth Grab Totem in the last 30 seconds and periodically immobilizes nearby players. Uh, Stone Skin Totem, Healing Ward, and Corrupted Nova Totem. Okay, this is our second out of three bosses. This is 
Rockmar the Crackler. Following Draenor's destruction, Rockmar fled into the depths of the Zangar Marsh. The energies that had torn the world apart enveloped the behemoth, bolstering its strength and size at the price of constant agony. The Naga were awed by Rockmar's ferocity when they first arrived in the region. Rather than kill the beast, they enslaved it and used the creature to subject much of Zang Zangar Marsh's indigenous life. Uh, Grievous Wounds viciously attacks a player, inflicting 446 nature damage. For, sorry, physical damage every two seconds until fully healed. Ensnaring Moss, a player with Moss slowing their melee and casting speed by 50%. Water Spit, uh, watery bolts of, bolts of water at all players within 451 yards, inflicting a 1,040 frost damage and frenzy, increasing physical damage t uh, by 10 and attack speed by 60%. Uh, Okay, this is going to be our final boss. This is Quagmirian. Quagmirian was once a ruler of Zangar Marsh's immense fungal giants. He was captured by the Naga while wandering the region's serpentine caverns and subjected to the excruciating torture. Now this broken being serves his overlords without question, silencing all who oppose the will of Lady Vaj. Poison Bolt Volley. Quag uh, Quagmirian poisons all nearby players, inflicting 1300 nature damage, then additional nature damage every 2 seconds for 6 seconds. Acid Spray fires a volley of poison at players for 8 seconds, inflicting nature damage to all players in front of them. Uppercut, inflicting physical damage and knocking them back. And Cleave, inflicting physical damage to a player and their nearest allies. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, managed to get through Slave Pins and the Underbog. I uh, hope you guys learned something about these dungeons and why we ran them and uh, who we were fighting exactly. If you guys like what you see and you want to see more, hit that like and subscribe button, share this video around, leave a comment down in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time a new episode comes online. Again, my name is Rob, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, always remember, take care of yourselves.